So in the last video, we left off with me cutting up these walnut panels into strips to make an inlay for the center of this Reclaim Modern table. So I built this tabletop design once before, about five or six years ago, for a client in New York City, and I've been really anxious to get back at it and see where I can take it with my new skills and with a bit of upgraded materials. So I cut the panel strips into 45 degree chunks for the inlay section. Also, I need to plane down the boards that'll go under the inlay to a thickness of about three quarters of an inch, from about an inch and a quarter. And don't leave your tools on top of your planer, otherwise that will happen. It took a whole bunch of passes, and eventually I ended up planing off the top of that groove, which I will have to fill later when I glue this all up. Sand the back of the piece, and apply the glue, and start up the inlay. So if you follow me on Instagram, and you should, you've seen this part already, but here it is again, just because it looks cool. So inlay strip number one is done, time to get started on number two. And the same process here again, sand, 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 glue, 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 clamp, clamp, clamp. The real challenge here is alignment. And at the end of the day, I could have made a jig for it, but really doing it all by hand and making sure that I'm just as precise as possible suits me a little better, personally. So I'm building these in strips individually, and then I'm going to laminate the leather piece to a board for the center of the inlay and glue it all up with the panels just like a regular tabletop glue up. And because I'm using relative dimensioning instead of precise numbers, this made the most sense out of all the options I have for doing the inlay. And enjoy my innovative clamping technique of stacking a bunch of heavy stuff on top of the glue up. Gotta put some tape down on my bench for this next part, packing tape will protect from any glue squeeze out from sticking the board to the bench. A simple scarf joint is all that's needed here, because this center board will be sandwiched between the other two strips in the glue up, and will have that really thick piece of leather laminated on top of it, adding strength. And speaking of that leather lamination, let's get started on that. A healthy helping of glue, which always looks good on screen. Spread nice and thin and evenly over the entire section that's going to be glued up. And place the leather. Now I'm doing this in sections because I didn't really have the capability to do the whole glue up at once. It takes extreme pressure. You can see this 30 pound brick still doesn't have enough weight to keep it from curling up at the edges. So I had to add these clamps as well. This was certainly the longest part of the entire process because I had to clamp this about 8 inches at a time for 24 hours at a time. So I flipped this brick down the piece the next day and I flipped it down the piece the next day and continued all the way down the seven and a half foot board. Okay, so that's it for part two of the series. Part three of the series is gonna be the apron build and the legs and lots of joinery and you're not gonna to wanna to miss out on that. And the best way to avoid missing out is to hit the subscribe button so you know when I drop the next part. I'm not gonna tell you where it is. You've seen it before. This ain't your first rodeo. This probably ain't even your third or fourth rodeo. Later, makers.